Well, more information is coming out tonight about the suspect who killed 49 people inside an Orlando nightclub. During a news conference today, FBI Director James Comey said the gunman had strong indications of radicalization and was likely inspired by foreign terrorist organizations. Tonight in Westboro, a vigil was held in hopes of providing a space where people could reflect and react to the tragedy. Our Rosalind Flaherty was there and has more. A vigil was held tonight at the Unitarian Universalist Congregational Society of Westboro for the victims of the Orlando shooting. A lot of pain in our country tonight as well as in our area and I think we just wanted to give people an opportunity to come and just know they're not alone and have others here to support them if they wish. People in the community thought it was important to gather for the victims. Well, it's important not only for the community, it's important for me personally to be able to just sit with it and make, try and find some way to make something of it to move forward. Organizers say they wanted to create a safe space tonight where people could come and share their messages of support. We needed a place where we could feel safe, we could be angry a little bit, but really more, it's about love conquering, uh, conquering hate. Organizers also say all people need to be acting for peace. We don't need to just be doing vigils and, and praying for peace. We need to be acting for peace. This is a first step. Rosalind Flaherty, 